Today, we're going to be digging into link tracking. Now, let me explain that in a moment. But first of all, let me just say this is a sponsored video by ClickWhale, but I'm not going to give you any opinions. I'm simply going to demonstrate how to use this particular tool, and then you can make a more informed decision for yourself. Now, before we go any further, there's a free version and a pro or premium version. I'm going to be using the pro version, but if you want to try it out for yourself, take a look at the free version first of all. Okay, so what exactly is link tracking? As its name suggests, it allows you to track links. So these could be advertising links, affiliate links, marketing and promotion links, any form of links you want to track. So let's take a look at how we can set it up with ClickWell and then show you how easy it is to start tracking everything that you do. So for this example, I've got an affiliate based website all set up and you can see if we take a look, I've got reviews on here and we've got an option to buy the product. Now I want to find out how many times that button is clicked so I can check this out. And if I'm sending email marketing out saying there's a new review on the website, I'll have a different link set up there so I can track which one is the most successful and which is driving the most traffic and interest. So how can we do that? Well, let's jump into the dashboard of WordPress, take a look at ClickWell, and I'll show you how you can set things up for yourself. So once you install ClickWell, you're going to see a range of different options. Now, if you're working with the free version, you'll have slightly less options. But if you have the pro version, you'll have everything I've got covered in here. But even the free version should get you up and running and started so you can start seeing how useful link tracking actually is. So let's take a look. First of all, we've got links, funnily enough. And inside there, you can see I've already set up a link to be tracked. So I've given it a name, I've got a link, and I've got the target URL. Let's go and edit this and take a look at what options we have. So first of all, we can give it a title. So this is something that's going to make sense to you as you want to sort of track things. Then you've got the slug, which you can set up to whatever you want. You can use random or you can use something that's a bit more meaningful. Obviously, you only want to use one that's unique, so make sure you don't sort of recreate the same thing over and over again, or it's going to cause you problems. Next, you've got your target URL. In other words, where is the link going to? Okay, so this is important. So drop that in there. You can see this actually points to Amazon for this example. Then we can choose the redirection type. So this allows us to set up different kinds of redirection. Generally, 301 is probably going to be exactly the right thing for you because you want people to click that link and be redirected to the actual link for that product and it still allow you to track it with ClickWell. So I'm going to leave that set there, but you have other options if you want to. And you can also check for no follow, mark it as sponsored, which if it is a sponsored content and a sponsored link, you probably want to mark that. Drop a description if you want to identify things, apply categories, which we'll take a look at in a moment. And then a pro only feature are UTM parameters. Now I'm not going to do too much detail, but UTM parameters are a great way of allowing you to track the campaign. So it could be email marketing, could be advertising, any form of sort of campaign. The medium could be video, could be email your source, so on and so forth. So you can set all those options inside there. Then you simply hit save link, copy it and use that link. So let's do just that. Let's just copy this link. You can see it tells me it's been copied. We're going to go over to our product reviews, open that up in a new tab, open up the relevant product review. And for this example, we scroll down. There's a custom field inside you for my affiliate link. And I'm going to drop mine inside there. You can see that drops it in. So that's using my URL with my custom slug at the end of it. Now, you can use this on any kind of link that you want. So if you're not using something like this where you've got a custom dedicated field, you just insert in a button or you're doing email marketing, for example, and you want to track your email marketing, anything that's a link can have this applied to it. We'll click on update. And now if we take a look at this product, scroll on through until we find the buy now button. And you can see if we take a look, we click on this and that's going to open up and take us over to, in this case, my drone kind of uh, link. But you kind of see how easy this is. This is now trackable so we can find out more information about it. We can find out what's a successful link and so on and so forth. We can come into our statistics and this was going to give us an overview of the different kinds of links, how successful they were, our top performing links and so on. So you can see there's the link that will be just created, tells us what link it is. And you can see you can edit this or you can go in and you can find out some more information about it and you can get more statistics about that specific item. So this is a great way of being able to track exactly what is going on, what links are being clicked, how popular they are. You can see we can set this up over a very range of different periods. So today, yesterday, right the way through to this year, last year or a completely custom range. So if you've got something specific, you can see you can drop in a completely custom option. So now we've seen how to track and set up a basic link. That's the simplest thing.
Next, we want to take a look at how we can organize things for ourselves. So if we come into the category section, you can see I've got phones and I've got drones. I could be a poet, you know. OK, so inside there, if we open any of these up, they just allow you to well, basically organize your data. There's nothing really complex about this. But as your link base grows, which invariably it will do, then this is a great way to organize things very easily. And then any other products or any of the links that you set up, you can see that we can connect those up to any of our categories. So this is set for drones, but it could also be set in phones. It could be set in accessories, you know, whatever you want to create. Now you're probably thinking link tracking sounds great, but couldn't I just track my own links very easily by using any other kind of analytics software? Obviously you could, no problem at all. But there's lots more to link tracking than you think. Let's take a really simple example. Your review website, you've added a new review to your website and you've added the button in and you've created a buy now button and you've put a link in there using the normal method. Now, let's just say that link updates or changes in the future. You could just simply come back into your particular review, update the link and carry on with the rest of your day. Two or three minutes taken out of your day, no problem at all. Now, let's expand upon that. You've got 10,000 people that are avidly waiting for your emails with your reviews. You send one out to your 10,000 subscribers with a link to that particular product in it. Not a link to the article itself, but to the actual product. Okay, now let's just say it's three months down the line and that link has changed and you've updated it on your website, but people use the link to the direct product itself. Well, that link is now no longer any good. So they go to a dead link and you lose all your affiliate money or whatever it is you're actually dealing with. Wouldn't it be better if you could make a change inside something like ClickWhale and then that new unique URL that you've created right back at the beginning, that's all the people see and use. Where it goes to is completely managed inside ClickWhale. Let me demonstrate what I'm talking about. So let's jump back into ClickWhale, open up the product itself, and there's our current link. Now that's changed. So let's just set this to something arbitrary like Google. Let's update this. So we've now got an updated link. We're still using this custom link that we've set up as part of ClickWheel. So that doesn't change at all, but the destination does change. So now let's take a look at that page again. So here's our product. Let's scroll down to that button. There's our buy now button as we've seen before, but now clicking on it will open up Google. So you can see that we can make changes. The original URL created inside ClickWheel doesn't change. The destination does, and that has saved my bacon in so many times when it comes to things like links in my videos, which I've got nearly a thousand videos on YouTube, sending out emails every single week with updates and links and things like that. I don't have to worry if anything changes because I'm using these custom links created inside a tool like ClickWhale to handle everything for me. And changes are painless, simple, and they just roll out everywhere for you automatically. So that's the basics of ClickWhale, but there is still more that can be done with ClickWhale. This is not all it can do. So if we come into, for example, we've got link pages. Now, if you use social media like Instagram or anything like that, you'll know yourself that the kind of page that you have, is not that useful. And you can only have one link on there anyway. So wouldn't it make sense to have something that someone clicks that link, they go somewhere that's mobile orientated that allows you to put kind of whatever content you want in? Well, that's what link pages allows us to do. So if we open this one up, you can see I've already created one. Now we take a look at this on a mobile device. You can see that we've got the title, my logo, or in this case, the image of me, some information. I've got a link, which is that custom link we've just set up. So that's totally trackable. So I can click that and it'll go straight up to what link I've set up on there. I've got some custom content underneath. I've got my social media icons that'll click through to whatever social media I want. And I've also got links in here for relevant different pages or parts of my site. So this is a great way of being able to have just one page that you can put whatever links you want on. And ClickWheel allows you to do that with their link page function. So if we take a look, you can see some of the basic information you see on the mobile is now listed here. So we've got the title, we've got the description, we've also got the slug that I want to use, which again, I can have multiple different uh, link pages if I wanted to, and have different slugs for each one of them and use them wherever I want. So I can have one for Facebook, one for Instagram, one for LinkedIn, you kind of get the idea. My logo, I can set up any legal information I want, I can connect up my sort of normal um, menu system if I want to, or I could just disable it completely, have no menu on there at all. Choose my logo style, shadows, and so on. Jumping over into the content tab, you can see I've created a custom set of content. So we've got this link. So you can see this is just content. It tells me how many clicks have gone through from this. I can upload my image. I can pop in my title, subtitle, add icons, emojis, and so on. 
If we go and take a look at the custom content, you can see this is where we had the image of the tablet with a little bit of text. Then I've got a separator, I've got my social profiles underneath it. So you can kind of see how easy it is to set all these things up and create a custom page, a kind of landing page if you were. Jumping into styles, you can see we can customize the look and feel of this through the colors, the background, the links, text colors, and so on. So you can see this will give us a preview of what this will look like. If you want to optimize this for SEO, you can see you can set your SEO title, your description, your robots, your open graph information, and so on. So even if people are not clicking the link, you can have this set up so it can be searchable and you can find it through just a Google search and so on. And your social profiles, you just simply drop in the social profiles, and that's what you'll see on the screen in the social profile profiles option if you enable that function. Pretty cool little option as part of ClickWell. Like I say, this easy allows you to have one link in your social bio and then click through to a little bit more informative page with relevant links and information and so on in there. Now, if you use tracking codes, so for example, Google Pixels, Facebook Pixels, and so on, you can set them up inside you and make them really useful. So if we use add code or add new, you can see we can give it a name. So for example, like the Google Tag Manager, drop in the code that you'll be supplied. And then you can see you have this code block it says, where do you want to add this code? So this is a standard code tracking. You can have additional ones inside you if you want to. And then you can specify, is this before the head, after the body, before the body, kind of usual places you drop that in. But if you don't want to use an additional plugin, you have this that you can use it on here, you can set it to the whole website, a specific page. You can include link pages on ClickWhale, include or exclude pages, posts, product reviews, categories. You can see this is putting in custom post types. You can exclude for various different roles, drop a comment in and so on. And you can enable the tracking code or disable the tracking code. So if you are using tracking and you have a tracking code, you can set a multiple different codes here, specify where it's going to be used, and then start tracking that information directly inside your site as well. So that's pretty cool to see you have that option included in ClickWell. Final thing I want to draw your attention to is the settings page. There's some options inside here that just means that you can set them in here and then you don't have to apply them on an individual link or link page basis. So for example, you can see we can set up the default redirection. So 301 is perfectly fine. Again, no follow sponsored links. Is that the default? If you want to use a link prefix, you can use that here as well. And also if you want to not have a random slug created whenever you add a new link in, you want to always manually put your own in, you can just basically uncheck this option. Tracking options, you can disable tracking if you want to, you can set what user roles are included or excluded. So if you don't want administrators or any content creators to be tracked at all, just simply disable them and just have a subscriber or just leave it with nothing. You can set your link pages information so you can see the link Check to open links in a new tab or window. Generally, from an accessibility point of view, you probably want to disable that, but the option's there if you want to. And you can also show or hide the ClickWell credit at the bottom of your link page. Could be your tracking codes. Again, you can see you can set up some basic info, so tracking code credits. And finally, you've got other options, which is if you are using an affiliate ID for ClickWell, you can set that up inside here as well. So all in all, ClickWell makes tracking any of your links very, very simple and straightforward. If you are interested in this kind of thing, take a look at the free version to get a feel for it. And if you want to upgrade to the pro, you can do that. Links for everything are in the description down below. But hopefully what this is showing you is it's not difficult to set up tracking using ClickWell, and this can open up a really simple way of tracking all your information. And those link pages can be incredibly useful if you heavily use social media profiles like Instagram, TikTok, and so on, and you want to maximize what that one link can do, send it over to your page and have as much information as you want on there and make it much more useful. Anyway, as always, all applicable links are in the description. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback, drop those in the comment section. As always, my name is Paul C. This is WP Tats, and until next time, take care.